hi guys thank you for joining me here today on my youtube channel and i am sure that most of you have been watching the creativation show videos about new releases new collections uh, products from different companies and today i want to show you just before we are starting to create a closer view of the pretty mosaic collection the prima pretty mosaic collection similar to other collection you will be getting uh, 30 sheets of papers with six different designs well it's probably it's more accurate to say 12 designs because it's six double-sided designs from it's a different design uh, in each side uh, and from each design you will be getting five five papers prima divided the papers like so one side is more of the patterns as you can see flowers you can cut them use them as embellishments uh, or use it as it is and on the other side you get more of the background kind of uh, pattern so i will just flip through so you could see so embellishments as in any other collection you also have uh, ephemera and chipboard stickers and many other things but for me today I can show you fl the flowers that I've got and the Satan crystals uh, which I use a lot in my project as you probably know and because we are getting these prototype uh, collections uh, it's not in the fancy nice <laughs> packaging that you will be getting but the flowers are the same so I'm gonna open each one of them and and I will show you what you are getting so this one are a medium size kind of flowers a paper one it's made out of paper and some of them are just a plain color that obviously match the colors of the collection but you are also getting flowers with cute patterns that match the designs in the collection so here we have different sizes of flowers bigger flowers again some are plain color and some have the patterns and you are also getting the uh, flowers with stem which are very handy as you probably know in my layouts I use them a lot maybe even today and some leaves Now these are my absolutely favorites of all times. I love vines. I love it when you can play with them and it will stay the way you want them to stay. And it just adds a lot of movement into the, into the projects, any project. Oh, this is nice. Uh, different sizes of flowers, different shades of pink. And also they are, uh, it's like they are frosted or something. They put some crystals on top of them and it looks like it just got uh, this morning humidity, morning dr little drops of rain on top of it. It's beautiful. And now, now we will start to create today we will be creating a layout with no uh, photo with no picture 
I'm gonna only use the collection and what I have here to show you how we can create a beautiful layout and this is true about any other collection that you will choose um, I want to show you how to maximize the paper that you are getting here and what you can do with them so let me just choose So, first of all, I am choosing my main background paper, which is going to be this one. I just love the tiles and the colors. This, this pattern is, uh, is beautiful. And yeah, I'm gonna choose this one. Now, I want to share with you a tip that really, really works for me. In order to be intuitive and just have fun and create with a flow, you need to have everything that you may be using right, right in front of you. If you will stop in the middle of your creation and then you will start to think, mm, which one I will be using and which flower should I cut, then it's gonna take ages and you will not have the the flow okay so what i'm gonna do now it's i'm gonna fast forward the video and you will see me doing my preparation i'm gonna cut everything that i have chose here and then we will continue I've got some new silicone molds um, in my recent DT package uh, and I chose uh, these three, they are the redesigned new silicone molds uh, that I will be using uh, because I think that they will match my, um, my layout perfectly. I will be listing all the links to the product I'm using down below. Now I have my main embellishments waiting for me right beside me and I can start building my layout. The best is yet to come and this is really it's a word to live by don't you think because this will be my main focus my main element I'm going to adhere it into a piece of chipboard maybe maybe even more I really really hope that you do not have a box like this um, this is all my dried brushes I'm an awful untidy person the least I can do is to find a good use for these brushes and this is what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna use them to build my composition. They will give me an extra interest and my layers will be higher and well, it just add complex and interest. I will adhere the 
Big Elements with Heavy Body Gel by Prima Finabel. want to add leaves, green leaves. Uh, I just collect them from um, from different flower packages. And uh, now I will just start adding flowers and embellishment until I will think that I have a um, composition that that is good and harmonious and then I will start to adhere them. While I was trying to build my composition, I could see that the statement that I have chose, the background of the statement is quite bright, it's white, and also the background that I chose. So they do not go very well together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a strong color beneath, add a piece of paper with a strong color that will contrast the the bright statement so i think this one will be best okay so now i can start adhering i know that it is not complete yet but i have the um, i have the idea of how the composition should look like because I have the brushes on the left side and they are quite high, I need to find a way to adhere the heart like this. And here I need something to balance the heights. So I will be using piece of, pieces of chipboards. Okay, so now the composition has been built and the, the different adhesive, the tacky glue and the medium gel are, well, not completely dry, but they are dry enough for me to start playing with other paints and water and things like that. I want to emphasize my focal point by turning down the places that I don't want the eye to go and wander. So what I will do now is just um, add some light coat of gesso.
uh, while it's getting dry I will choose the colors that I uh, will be adding to this layout These watercolors tubes that you see here I have just got in my recent DT box and I haven't been playing with them yet and now it would be a very good timing to do so. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to find the colors that will suit my project, my project best and we will explore them together so I chose these three colors that I think will go best with my uh, layout so let's try those just a tiny squeeze here So I want to test uh, these, these colors, so I just grab my art journal to just play with them and let's do it here. Crimson is the one that I have just tried. Give you a closer view. I just added more and more water to it to see the different shades I can achieve with this one. And now I will try the Viridian Hue. Viridian Hue. I'm sorry guys, I do not know what it means. If anybody knows, you are welcome to let me know in the comments. The, the colors are very high pigmented, I can tell you that for sure. And this is the, this is what I've got. By looking on my project, I think that the Crimson and the Viridian Hue will be a great combination and will work perfect so this is what we will do now So another project has come to its end and I really enjoyed creating here with you for you and I hope that you find my tutorials helpful. Uh, on my previous tutorial with the face and the collage, 
Uh, some of you have tried the techniques that I showed you and uh, it, you were kind enough to share it with me on social media and I have to say that I was thrilled about it and I really enjoyed I think there that there is not a better compliment than seeing uh, somebody that is being inspired by you and as always I will appreciate uh, if you will comment below and let me know your thoughts about this video and of course of course you are welcome to subscribe and you would be notified whenever I create something new and of course that all the products that I have used will be listed down below so this is it I really enjoyed it and I will see you guys on my next tutorial.